All right. For sure, Erin Jackson does not take an easy way out to get to where she's going. And the Florida native is a scholar with multiple degrees and is a superior athlete that learns fast how to become a world champion speed skater. As Dexter Henry found out, this hard charging athlete is heading to Beijing with some, with some unfinished business on her mind. Erin Jackson's story has many twists and turns. But at the end of the day, the 29-year-old Florida native gets her way, despite what you are about to see. She is on the U.S. Olympic women's speed skating team, despite this stumble at the recent U.S. Olympic speed skating trials in Milwaukee. Oh, big slip! Big slip for Erin Jackson. That's going to cost her at least a few tenths of a second. That stumble cost her the time, allowing for teammate Kimmy Getz to knock her out by taking second. Brittany Bow won first place all razor thin. I couldn't really recover from, from that slip, and I ended up in, in third place in the race. And there were only two qualifying spots. So that was kind of a shocking feeling that I hadn't qualified for my second Olympics, despite being number one in the world rankings this season. It was definitely a, a stressful time, just kind of thinking like, OK, what, what happens next? And I was just very lucky to have such a, a selfless teammate. Brittany Bow actually declined her spot. And by doing that, since I finished third, it bumps me up into a qualifying position. Think about that. A competitor of hers gave up her spot so that Aaron could compete. How does that happen? It happens because the character of Aaron Jackson. Unfortunately, at the games, if something like that were to happen, I wouldn't get a second chance. No more room for mistakes, and I'm definitely ready for that. A good start from Aaron Jackson. The U.S. has been a power in long track speed skating in nearly all the Olympic Winter Games from 1972 through 2010. However, in 2014, they won no medals, and in 2018, they recorded just one bronze. Aaron Jackson, she's looking to change all of that in 2022. Let's go back to 2018. Jackson was named to Team USA after only four months of training on ice as a speed skater and went on to compete at the Olympic Winter Games. She is the first black woman to compete for the U.S. Olympic long track speed skating team. I think it really helps to see people like you doing something and it can kind of inspire you to try it as well. Like someone can look at the TV and say, oh, like there's a black woman doing this winter sport. Like I've never seen that before. Like, let me look into this a little further. All the hard work I've been doing is, is starting to pay off and that's that's really nice. And I, you know, I owe it to my coach Ryan and, and my teammates because we're always just pushing each other every day. It's just so amazing to be part of, of Team Toyota because I definitely feel like it's like a family. And I just hope that I can kind of inspire more kids to like not choose one or the other. You can be an athlete and a scholar at the same time. This is Dexter Henry. Well, that is truly amazing that Aaron Jackson began transitioning from inline skating just five years ago to speed skating and now feels ready to make a run at gold medal in Beijing. All right, Toyota supports 31 U.S. Olympic and Paralympic Olympic athletes and 18 U.S. national government bodies and high performance management organizations on their journey to the Olympic and Paralympic Games and beyond.